Welcome to Inside Science TV. Dolphins are smart, amazing animals, and like us, they are mammals that eat some of the same fish we do, including fish that may have high levels of mercury. Now, marine scientists and environmental engineers are working together to learn more about the effect of mercury on marine life. The goal for this study was to see if our fish contained mercury that would be harmful for the, for the dolphins that live here at the aquarium. The researchers compared levels of mercury in captive dolphins that are fed a controlled diet of fish with dolphins in the wild, consuming fish that may carry more of the toxic metal. The fish that they're feeding the captive dolphins have lower mercury concentrations than fish in other parts of the country. These aquarium dolphins are fed fish from North Atlantic waters and showed lower levels of mercury in their blood. Scientists found higher levels of mercury in wild dolphins tested off the South Atlantic and Gulf coasts of Florida, a state that is in the path of mercury-laden fumes from coal-fired power plants. With the winds blowing from west to east, that if you're in the northeast, that part of Canada doesn't have uh, very many coal-fired power plants. And so Nova Scotia area is very, relatively clean. Mercury is emitted as a gas from coal power plants, and it can make its way into the ocean. Scientists say doing a better job of removing mercury from power plants is a start for healthier marine life. Science pointing the way to safer sea life for all of us on land and in the water. I'm Josh Lebowitz reporting. Inside Science TV. If you enjoyed this edition, follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. Powered by the American Institute of Physics and a coalition of underwriters.